Hey guys, what's up? It's your favorite YouTuber, Jay, and welcome back to my channel. We talk about all things money, finance, and entrepreneurship. Guys, in today's video, we are going back to the basics. If anybody claims to know anything about financial literacy, you must have one of these. Today, we are going over five savings accounts because I could always use a reminder. I tried my best to make sure that these were still feasible bank accounts for people who are not trying to invest and get into all of that stuff. Just somebody who can go on a website and open a bank account. But I also wanted to find bank accounts that were high percentage yield so you can start generating the interest on the money in your savings accounts. So coming in at number one, we have Ally bank. I personally have been using the high interest earning savings account from Ally Bank for almost two years now and I absolutely love it. And the reason why I love it, I talk about this on this channel all the time. So if you've heard this for the 50th million of time, forgive me, but it's the buckets. And so Ally Bank allows you to create buckets that you have your one big savings account and then you can create multiple different buckets and name them after the different things that you're saving for. So all of the money is divided into separate places. Ally Bank also has reoccurring transfers so you can connect your ally savings account to your regular checking account and every two weeks once a month once a week you can set a certain amount to come out of your checking account and go into your savings account so you don't have to go in there and manually transfer the money yourself there's no monthly maintenance fees for this account and they have a 4.00 annual percentage yield so that's pretty good that means that you will be earning a four percent interest on however much you put inside of your account and that is amazing compared to banks such as like Chase, Bank of America, that only offer you a 0.01 annual percentage yield. So you're basically earning no interest on the money that you have sitting in your savings account. Coming in at number two, we have Alliant Credit Union. I believe that it is important for you to establish a good relationship with the credit union. Credit unions give you lower interest rates on things such as mortgages and auto loans. And that's going to help you out in the long run because when you go apply for that car loan and the dealership tries to give you an outrageous interest rate, which makes your car payment super high, way more high than it's supposed to be. You can go to your credit union and because you're a customer there, already and you've already established good behavior with your bank accounts, they are more inclined to give you a lower interest rate, which is in turn going to significantly lower your car payment. But the only way you can get there is by first establishing a good relationship with a credit union. Alliant Credit Union has an annual percentage yield of 3.10% and it doesn't charge you any fees to open up the account. You do have to keep a minimum balance of $5 in your account in order to keep it open and you don't start earning interest and until you have a minimum of $100 in your account. However, the benefit of having this savings account is building up a good relationship with your credit union while still getting the benefits of your average savings account. They still have ATMs everywhere. They still have automatic transfers, just like your regular savings account, but instead you're using a credit union. Coming in at number three, we have the Berkeley's. If I am pronouncing that, Berkeley's, if I am pronouncing that incorrectly, please bear with me. I've never, I'm just, Berkeley's. Berkeley has an annual percentage yield of 4.15%. That is higher than the two previous savings account that we just talked about. That's a very high annual percentage yield. That's some of the highest that I've seen before you start getting into opening up a Roth IRA investment account. Berkeley's does specialize in investments, but they do allow you to have a regular savings account without having to use their investment product. Coming in at number four, we have the Capital One 360 Performance Savings Account. This savings account also has an annual percentage yield of 4.15%. There are no fees for this account. Capital One is really good about not having any fees for their checking accounts and their savings account, and there is no minimum balance to keep this account open. This account also allows automatic transfers from your savings account, and one thing that I can say is that Capital One's mobile banking experience is Stellar. Sometimes when you get into like the more offshore savings accounts, just because they have higher interest rates, you might run into a problem where you see that their website is a little spotty or their mobile banking app is a little... It's a little difficult to use, but Capital One has a stellar mobile banking app. It is extremely user-friendly. You can deposit checks, you can create automatic transfers, you can move money around all from the app on your phone. And last but not least, we have the Discover Online Savings Account. This savings account has an annual percentage yield of 4.15%. There's no monthly fees, there's no minimum balance. It doesn't charge you an insufficient funds fee if you accidentally take out too much, and it doesn't charge you a closure fee either. So there's pretty much 
no risk to opening up this account. It's extremely user-friendly app, extremely user-friendly banking experience. If you're just looking for a simple and easy account, nothing too complicated, Discover, I will always recommend as the way to go. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It is so, so important to have a savings account. You cannot spend money and save money in the same account. A lot of people will use their checking account and their savings account as the same thing. And I'm just like, how? How is that remotely possible? That's not a that's not a real thing. If you found this video beneficial, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Comment down below what savings account are you gonna open up? Are you gonna open up any of these savings accounts? And if not, who do you have your savings account with? I'm curious. I would like to know. Make sure you subscribe. Why? Because we're getting our savings right. We're saving money, putting money aside. Who wouldn't want to subscribe to that? And in the meantime, stay strong. Bye guys.